Happy holidays and welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Over the next couple of weeks, museum staff and volunteers will be sharing works from our collection that have a special connection to the favorite holiday tune, 12 Days of Christmas. Please check back every day at 10 a.m. for a new work and a new chat. Hello, my name is Olivia Bowers and I'm a visitor services assistant at the CAM. And on the ninth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me nine ladies dancing in Robert Frederick Bloom's study for Mutes to Music. What a beautiful oil painting by a Cincinnati native. Robert Frederick Bloom was born in Cincinnati in 1857 and attended the McMicken School of Design, which would later become the Art Academy of Cincinnati. This painting, like the title suggests, is a study, or a trial run, as I like to describe it, of a much larger painting originally titled Moods to Music, which was later titled Music in the Dance. A study is typically a practice for a major work of art that helps the artist block in forms and space to create a composition that meets their standards before they create the final piece. Think of this painting as a rough draft. Boy, I wish my rough drafts looked this good. The larger painting was a canvas mural created for the Mendelssohn Hall in New York City, the previous home of the Mendelssohn Glee Club, the second oldest independent musical organization in the United States. Bloom's primary patron, Alfred Corning Clark, a member of the Glee Club and heir to the Singer Sewing Machine fortune, commissioned music in the dance, as well as another large canvas mural, Feast of Bacchus, for the Mendelssohn Hall, which he also built. These canvases were 50 feet long and 12 feet high, which is roughly the size of a semi-trailer. Unfortunately, when Mendelssohn Hall was demolished in 1912, the canvases disappeared, but were found in the vaults of the Brooklyn Museum about half a century later. My favorite part of this painting is the pastel color palette and the way that Bloom has created movement with his beautiful, gentle, yet powerful brushstrokes. It reminds me of the joys of springtime in the middle of our dark and dreary winters here in Cincinnati. What do you think the women are celebrating? What song do you think that they're listening to? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you keep your eyes peeled for the 10th day of Christmas on Cam Look. See you next time.